We made it. Cherokee, first stop. And when you got a 43 foot trailer and two boats and two trucks, it takes a little bit of logistics. Dude, that is not a two-lane road. Oh my god. Do you want to eat the whole ice cream sandwich? It wasn't that big. It was not that big. I didn't even get a bite that big. Well, that's how big it was. I had one little tiny bite and it was... That was like equivalent to a half gallon. No. I just ate the whole thing. It was like not even the square of a big. I gotta try one of these. Really? Whoa! <laughs> You're gonna be on a sugar high. <laughs> you guys have the same little like <laughs> evil laughing when you start eating sugar. My <laughs> life melts when you eat sugar. Oh, are you so happy? You've been sleeping all day and you get to go right back to bed? By Colorado Springs, Tiff says. Crash for the night, get up in the morning. We got like 12 hours left to get to the wrap shop. Okay, so we've been here for an hour, waiting. He's Instagramming right now. He already ate all of the coffee beans. <laughs> you ate them? I ate all of them. <laughs> You want ice cream? We can't have ice cream. He's gonna call Fat Kid. He always calls me out for Fat Kid. Oh, let's go run so I can eat ice cream. Is that a grenade pin? <laughs> it is. It's exactly what it is. We are going to pick the boat up from Tyler Rap Company. What's up, everybody? Brandon Polnick here taking over the Minkota Motors Instagram today follow along as we go through my boat, my truck, RV, all my tackle. Welcome to the best wrap shop in the world, Tyler Wrap Company. And one of the busiest wrap shops in the world. You're playing with fire. What do you got going on here? We are getting prepped for 2017. I did a lot of it at home, uh, but I've still got a lot of things to do. Uh, I got rigid light kit going on. We've got a lot of the little stuff left to do. I've already done the graph installs, ran all the wires for that. I like to do all that stuff myself. I upgrade all the wiring, all, that, all those little things that make a difference. Um, this is one kind of cool little thing that I like to do, and I do it on all my compartments. I do it on all the live wells. So what it does, especially on the live wells, it creates a seal on this foam pad. You can actually kind of hear the, the air when I push it down. You can hear it coming through this other side, and what that does is it creates a seal, fill the water all the way up, plug the live wells, and then the fish have a nice little safe haven in there they're not getting beat around any air that you have in there is just room for that water to move so this started out looking like this and I buy this stuff from a mare seal super cheap and it it's got little metal clamps in there and a little top bulb and it literally just presses on there and fits perfectly on these little skeeter compartments so kind of a cool little tip that 
even on just your compartments. It helps the longevity of your compartments uh, and keeps everything really tight and seals a lot of the water out. So if you get in big water and you start stuffing eight footers, it, it keeps all your stuff dry, which is important. Our friends, and Seth Salvador. and Stacy, are taking us to El Sombrero Mexican Restaurante. I don't even so know I, what you're talking about. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it's it. The camera angle. I'm not taking a picture though. <laughs> We're questioning Brandon Polinick here. So, um, <laughs> a good mic girl, huh? I don't even have any more questions, really. Okay, what? Okay, how many emails do you get a day? Depends on the day. Okay. Um, Anywhere from ten to seventy. You had a stalker. This is how you get rid of them. Uh, don't reply to them on Facebook. Uh, if they don't show, introduce them to your girlfriend. They, don't introduce them to your girlfriend. If they show up at tournaments, wearing uh, a shirt with your name on it. Yeah, turn the other way. What's your alter ego's name? Oh, mine. It is Miguel. <laughs> oh, how fitting. Yeah, this is Miguel. And, and who is this? Ah, uh, it's Tiffany. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Y'all be careful. It's good to meet you. Good to meet you. Just finished up eating a little dinner with some friends. That's one thing that's kind of cool about this business is you get to meet a lot of different people from all over the country. So anytime we're like in the area of some of our friends, we always try to meet up, hang out, network, and... Uh, kind of build those relationships what do you got yeah got dipping knots oh man these are good i didn't even know they still made them they make them in packs now it's no longer a stand for sugar fiends just for average sugar eaters we're mm -hmm. talking about dipping dots and just over here dumping blue death in the diesel he ordered a salad at dinner so he could eat dipping dots afterwards so yesterday was all sunny nice beautiful warm freaking cold drizzling rain or trying to and I gotta work on the boat and I'm not happy about it he's supposed to be showering he goes no I want to feel me all pissed off about the rain I looked at the weather it's not supposed to rain I warm my legs up I'm putting the light together it's gonna be um, awesome new light with no light bulb frustrating that's life. Putting on a necessity when you travel as much as I do. So I take rigid A-series and I run them along the top of the trailer so people can see the trailer, I can see the trailer. I put up white ones for reverse lights and it helps shine up on the logos at night. So it's been kind of a project. Usually I'm really good at it but this time I'm jacking up wiring, breaking off screws in the trailer. What's the biggest issue you're running into right now? Uh, yeah, pretty much breaking that screw off right there. First Elite Series event kicks off. Cherokee Lake, Tennessee. So we gotta drive from Texas to Tennessee today. All of it. How do these early mornings make you feel, Tiff? So happy. Not a morning person. What's morning prep look like for driving a boat 12 hours? <laughs> uh, I like to remove the cover if it's not going to be too terrible of weather. That way it doesn't uh, blow all over the place and wreck the wrap. Covers are hard on stuff. And just making sure stuff's not gonna blow out and hit other people. First successful hookup and release at the campground. One, One main struggle, the poop chute. Couldn't get it to disconnect from their sewer system. It was like air locked in there. I'm ready. Bella. Say, say hi. Hey. Don't tell dad, you're okay. Okay, now get back.
What are you doing? Driving home. Oh, gotcha. Why were there cops around your boat? <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> Only you would go find a cop to tie your boat up to while you're yeah. waiting to blast off. Yeah. Yeah. I thought this was, this was perfect. This is going to be a good... I mean, I didn't test the keeper for two days, dude. You're always finding a way to get your name on the website somehow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm not sure why Louisiana does not label their bridge height. And I don't know how much clearance we have. But every single one of them makes my butt pucker. Clearly, if the truckers are going under, we're okay. The infamous Mississippi River. I'm glad we're not fishing that river right now. Hey Ted, welcome to Lowe's. As many fish as like that. When I was doing it on the jig, it's like you just knew you were going to get a bite if you did it for like 20 minutes, where yeah. you could do it for an hour and not get a bite. And then you'd just be starting to think like, oh, I'm going to move, and then you'd get a bite. And <laughs> so then you'd stick it out again. Yeah. I think we can fit two in here. I think we can back up. Put that red thing there. I don't know if you want to hear that. Yeah, that's right. Why the sewer system's got to be jacked up every time? Oh. There we go. Connected on that side. What? As long as I don't touch the white tube, I'm okay. Uh, I'm hooking up your bathroom. Well, I would like to know if it's broke or not, because right now we're leaning worse forward than we were at the last place. But it says successful. It says auto level success. This should say auto level fail. Trailer props. No? No. You're not step child. By the family though? Yeah. No step child. Bloodline. Excellent. Auto leveler inside is like uh -huh. not, but they're not going up to make it level. We made it, Cherokee first stop. I paid seventy-eight thousand dollars to stick a leveler <laughs> on the side. Of this week, so you can level. focus on the season tournament. You, know. you need to worry about the tournament, and not this well, this on, wheel. Tomorrow, well, I should just go do it right now. I might just hook it up and throw the rest of the blocks under it and see if it'll work. Yeah. Sorry, we're not dealing with it.